Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can animate logos inside of Adobe InDesign. So I have the first page of an interactive document here, and when the user opens this file up I'd like to animate some of these elements to make it look a little bit more interesting rather than being static. So to do that, I'm going to select the logo first of all, and then go up to the window menu and choose Interactive. From the sub menu we've got the animation panel where you do all your work, click in there, and then it'll be predominantly blank inside of here until I go to the preset menu and click on choose and choose one of the built-in ones that comes within design. So from here I can choose quite simply fade in. This will create a fade in effect from 0% opacity to 100 over what calls in here duration of one second. And if you want to see that actually working in your layout, go down to the bottom left hand side and click on preview spread. Here then, once it loads up, it then shows the animation. So yeah, that's fine. That's how you can animate a logo inside of InDesign. If you want to change the duration, you can take your cursor back. I could swipe over that, type in two, press return, go back into the previewer, click on play, and that will replay the animation for this particular page. So there we go. That is the logo very simply animated on screen, just to create something a little bit more visually interesting. What would be nice now, is if I could take the editable text that's in the middle here and make this rise up. And we can do that as well. So I'm just gonna collapse this panel down just for the minute and then move it over here out of the way. And um, the photograph in the background is stored in a layer called images. Now that's locked, so I can now just click and drag across those two text frames. And then I can go to the object menu and I can choose group from there. With that selected, InDesign tells me that this thing is called imaginatively group. So I'm going to swipe over that and call that titles. That can help naming things individually inside of uh, InDesign when you're animating. And then from here, I can again choose one of the presets. So from here, I can choose one of the built-in ones fly in from bottom. When I click on that, again, that will work over one second. So I can go back to my previewer, go down to the play button and replay that. What it will actually do is it will animate the first object first. Once that's finished animating, it then animates the second object, which of course are our titles. So there we go. Animates over one second, it flies in quite quickly. We can tweak this. So of course I can go to duration in here. I can then type in three seconds, press return, and then go back to my previewer and preview that once more. Which is fine, you know, but we can improve this. So. First off, I'd like the logo and the text to animate at the same time. And the other thing is, I don't want this text to appear in front of the truck. I want it to come from behind the mountains. So first things first, I'm going to hide that again. I'm going to go down to this symbol here, which is called timing. And you'll notice in here, it gives us a log of everything that's been animated on this page. So here you'll see we have the logo that animates first. When it's finished animating, it then starts playing the titles and animating that. So if I click on this one here and then shift and left click on titles, you can actually choose here to link them so they play together at the same time. When I do that, I can then go back to my previewer, click on play, and then from here, we have this. That solves that problem of animating them and they work at the same time. If I just hide that, second thing is how do we then make this editable text appear from behind the mountains? Well. I'm just going to move this panel to the side. I'm going to move timing away as well. And just to show you that if I unlock the images layer and expand it open, there's actually a PSD file in here. So this has got multiple layers in. When it's unlocked now, I can click on that to select the photograph and then right click and show you inside of Adobe Photoshop how this has been built by going to edit original. You'll notice that there are two layers in the layers panel. The artwork looks exactly as it does inside of InDesign. But if I hide the background layer, then we have a duplicate that contains only the person on the truck and the hills. The sky has been hidden completely with a layer mask. And in here, in the duplicate called foreground, uh, in the layer mask, black conceals part of a layer, white reveals part of a layer. So if I turn that back on again, we now have a way of being able to make the text appear from behind the mountains. So to do that inside of InDesign, I'll jump back over and show you. So from here then, this is my artwork. I can then go to the edit menu, create a copy, and then I can go back to edit and I can choose paste in place. Now that will paste in another copy in the images layer, but if I hover over the selection icon and drag this up to interactive, like so, 
That will then of course appear in front of all the text and logos which we don't want, but we can remedy it because if I go to the object menu with that artwork still selected, I can then go down the list to object layer options. And from here, if I hide the background and just keep the foreground and then click OK, you'll notice that the text appears but not the logo, but if I expand the interactive layer, I have the logo down here, I can just drag that up and above cover. So what we now have is the titles at the very bottom in here. Then we have the cover reveal.psd, which is just the foreground with the person on the truck. And then we have the logo in front of all of that. So now what I can do is click back on my previewer, go down here, click on play. And it appears from behind the mountain. So that's how you can animate logos and content inside of InDesign. Thanks for watching folks. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking to create great looking artwork, save tons of time, then subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, farewell.